Hey guys, what's going on? You know, today one of my uh, one of my leaders, the guy who does worship uh, for the student ministries, we were driving the car, we were talking. And it was great. We were sharing a good conversation and he was really encouraging me with some things that I actually never really thought about in great detail. It was something that I just always done and it came it was just what I did, okay? Uh, and I never put a lot of thought into it, but after he talked to me about it and shared his thoughts, I did put some thought into it and why I do things the way that I do things. And what he commented on was my willingness to listen to other leaders uh, in the you know in the youth ministry, volunteers, or the coworkers that I work with, the other ministers at the church, um, or being able to seek out advice to be able to bounce things off of people. And I mean, a, a lot of places that I've been, and maybe even people I've come across at Bible school or in other churches at some point or another, you know, some people always kind of felt like, you know, or, or put off that persona that, you know, if, if I can't do it by myself, then I'm somehow failing. Like I need to prove that I can handle it, that I can carry the weight, the load on my shoulders, that I can do it. Uh, if I go seek out help, uh, it's going to show some kind of a weakness that I have. And I remember watching this video, and it was ESPN. They're kind of launching their year of the quarterback. And I, one of the quarterbacks was talking, kind of one of the old guys, and he was saying that the his backup quarterback was not a psychiatrist. If he was having a hard time, he'd keep it to himself. And, and it was really funny hearing that because I was thinking to myself, man, that is so different than ministry. I mean, that idea, that 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 capacity to think that way is so different from the way that I look at everything. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I went to church and was unable to bounce ideas, get advice, gather wisdom, kind of just gather it all up from different people. Uh, if I was unable to do that, I think my ministry would suffer. I mean, I don't think that I was created to be a Lone Ranger, silo kind of guy. I think I was created to be able to do ministry and do ministry in a community with people. I mean, these people, these like-minded people, these people who care about students and care about youth the same way that I do. I mean, if I was to reject that and not go to them, I mean, who's who's really suffering? It's it's it is my ego suffering because I can and I'm unwilling to go ask for help and ask for advice and bounce ideas, or is it the students that's suffering? Because, I mean, in the end, it's really all about them, right? I mean, I want to create a student ministry and be part of a team in which I can always feel like I can openly share, openly dialogue, hear from my leaders, and not just hear like uh, I'm paying them a service, you know, you know how you know how good of you, uh, Justin, to be, you know, listening. You know, I know you're just a busy guy. You know, you're always doing stuff. You know, how nice it is that you're taking the time to listen. But, but truly hear what they're saying. Truly hear what my small group leaders are saying. Truly hear what the other staff of the church is saying. Truly hear what other people in ministry who've been doing it for as long as I've been alive, hear what they're saying. So I just really want to encourage you guys, uh, who's ever watching, uh, whoever checks this out, whatever, that uh, that, th that myth, that myth that you know you are the guy that if you don't do it, that you know, it's you know everything's gonna fall apart. That if you don't produce, uh, everything's gonna fall apart. If you don't come up with the next big idea, if you don't yourself identify the problems and then identify the solutions to fix them, if you yourself cannot do all these things alone, that you're somehow uh, inadequate. That it's some some way some some you know weird you know godly way of saying you know you're just not cut out. Like I heard one person say that once. Like they said, man, if I can't do it alone, you know it, it's obvious that I'm just not cut out for ministry. Like that's like whoa, that's that's so wild because I mean even Jesus didn't do it alone. I mean if anyone could have done it alone, it was him. But yet he didn't. Yet he went with twelve guys and and then with a, you know a larger group of people who followed and, and learned from his teachings and then sent them off to go do it and I mean you know it, it wasn't about just one guy doing it and carrying the load it was about us sharing the load and I mean don't be mistaken the day's gonna come where you're gonna have to be the decision maker I mean after you get all the advice 
all the you know the the bouncing ideas off of all the suggestions uh, after you kind of you discuss it and look at all the sides with different people who have different giftings the the moment's going to come where people are going to look at you and say what are we doing what direction we've given you all the advice we've given you all the wisdom we've given you all the fruits of our years we've given you all the you know the the you know this is what it looks like and if you do it this way this is what it's going to look like all the comparative stuff we've given you everything What's the choice? And in that moment, I want you to be ready. In that moment, I want to be ready. So just I wanted to encourage you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check me out again. Uh, have a great day, guys.